trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Howdy viewers, Brad Prider of Barstool Entertainment continuing on with Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. After the joys of civilization, um, the gang finds where Angelo Bronte's house is and now they decide to visit Mr. Bronte and get Jack back, which, well, it's actually not that hard. Uh, Mr. Bronte has a favor to ask, and if you do that, you should get the child back. So let's get on with this mission. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Nathan! Who are these buffoons? I'm here to help you. What are you why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
Ti adoro. <laughs> Date da bere sti uomini. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Uh, Salute. So now John and Arthur have to go and stop some grave robbers and collect some money from them so that uh, Mr. Bronte is happy and will give them John's son Jack back. This way. Well, now, searching for the grave robbers involves wandering around the cemetery and looking for some clues. You know, you got to scooby-doo some things out, and eventually you will um, catch the grave robbers. I'm going to do a little fast-forwarding through things because you just wander around, and you got to keep looking. So I'll fast-forward to the most interesting part you hear something check this way Shush. Jack back. Getting good. I hear something in there. You boys found my puppies watching. I 
think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have a drink. I think that's all of them. Alright. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Now you gotta find their stash and bring it back to Mr. Bronte. So it requires a little walking around and looking. And I'm looting the grave robbers because they don't need what they have on them. And so I can sell it and make some money for all my troubles. And as you see the yellow blob, that is kind of where their stash is located. And you got to search around and possibly find their stash. locked and you can't get out so now you got to sneak around and avoid the law because they're looking for you and yeah this is just another little wrinkle you just stay toward the cemetery you follow John and you will and you do nothing you don't shoot your gun and you'll get out of the cemetery easily but just Follow John and don't shoot anyone. They're still here. Come on, stay together. Now that you're out of the cemetery, you can quickly get on your horse and get out and ride back to Mr. Bronte's manor to return the money and get Jack back. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Jack. Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Now that Jack is rescued, you can bring him back to Shady Bell. And he'll tell you along the way how he had a good time and how he actually likes Mr. Bronte. 
and is calling him Uncle Bronte or whatever it is, Uncle Angelo, which, to be honest with you, oh, Papa Bronte. And, well, yeah, the boy is obviously in love with the concept of wealth. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> it's how I <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. And there you have it. Mission complete. Everyone is happy. Jack is back. Everyone is celebrating. All is good. And, well, it should be. If you like this video, Hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week. Right now I'm focusing a little more on Red Dead Redemption 2 because, well, it's becoming a more and more interesting game. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.